Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Epcot and today we have reservations for the beer garden over in World Showcase. They actually brought back their full buffet lineup, an actual buffet service right here in Epcot. So I decided to grab a reservation, bring you guys along with me and show you any changes they made to the menu, but also enjoy a night here at Epcot's World Showcase. Anywho's, let's go do this. We're gonna head straight back to World Showcase, but I wanna show you the incredibly low wait times here at Epcot today. Right now, Test Track is running a 20 minute standby wait time. That is unheard of, and it's five o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. After we get done with dinner, we'll definitely come back out and ride some rides, and hopefully the wait times stay as low as they are now, because that would be amazing. It's hard for me to pass up a 20 minute standby line for test track, but we need to get to our dinner reservation and it's actually all the way on the other side of World Showcase in the Germany Pavilion. The beer garden is one of my all time favorite dining experiences here in Epcot's World Showcase. It is an amazing dinner show with live entertainment, some amazing beer, and now the buffet is back. I did a video here before in the past, but they weren't doing the full menu and they were doing a family style. Now that the buffet is back, I grabbed my Germany hat and I had to come out and show you guys because there's gonna be lots more food that they're offering. And here we are, we have made it to the Germany Pavilion. And like I said before, this is one of my all time favorite places to eat because it's a dinner show and you're getting such a great value for all the fun and amazing memories you're gonna make. And also, I just love the pavilion itself too. They were gonna put an attraction in here. They were gonna actually have a Germany based ride, kind of like the Grand Fiesta Tour, and it was gonna be right here. Isn't that mind blowing? I kind of wish they still did that. I mean, they have everything set up for it. Look how nicely themed it is in here. I'm gonna get all checked in and I wanted to look for a new hat because I bought this one a long time ago and it's actually showing a little age there. I lost the feather from the side of it, but I don't think they make them anymore. I used to be able to buy it right here next to the beer garden itself, but looks like they're all sold out. This is going to be the second Buffet Disney reopened. First going to be the Boma, which we already went to and we enjoyed a lot. And now I hear tell that the Crystal Palace is going to be reopening September 18th. So that's three buffets in just 30 days. I'm excited to see everything else come back to normal. The only thing is, is I don't think they're doing the communal seating. I don't think that's quite ready for that yet. I checked in for my reservation and I put in a table request to sit close to the stage. I think there's three different levels. If you sit all the way up to the top, you get a closer uh, access to the buffet line. But if you sit down towards the stage, you get an up close of the show. So it's kind of pick and choose. You wanna be close to the buffet or do you wanna be close to the performance? And I'd rather be down to the performance because it is fun down there and it's such an amazing atmosphere. Here is a look at the menu, and also, I love this sign. Celebrate Oktoberfest every day. Partial listings, and they've got the schnitzel, the spatzel, they've got the sauerkraut, the potatoes, the rotisserie chicken, traditional sausages, and then celebrate Oktoberfest with traditional entertainment throughout the day, and it's $46 for adults and $25 for children. And like I said, this is such a cool experience. And just like that, our table was called, and now we are here. We're in the beer garden, and I switched. I didn't want to sit down on the first floor because all they are are eight tables, like eight tabletops, and since they're not doing the communal seating, I didn't want to sit on the eight top all by myself, so I hopped up to the second floor, and I got a nice little four top, and a still an amazing view of the stage right there. So I'm excited. Look at this place, I love it. It is Oktoberfest every day of the year, and it's just so amazing. And this is what I was talking about, how they have three different levels. So like the first level's down there, the second one, and then the third one up top here. I ordered myself a liter of Dunkel, and we're gonna head up and check out the buffet. I think the next performance starts at 6.50, so we're gonna wanna be down there and back at our table before that actually starts. There are dozens of new items that they're offering that they didn't offer with the family style, including all the different salad fixings they've got. Tons more macaroni salad, three bean salad, tomato salads, 
And then over here you have a war salad, a cucumber, a beet salad, so many amazing things. I'm gonna point out a couple of the things that they brought back to the buffet that weren't with the family style. And also I wanted to point out that you need to wear your mask whenever you're visiting the buffet line. That goes for here and Balma and probably any other buffets Disney's gonna open up in the future. One of the things I know a lot of people were missing when it was family style was the cheese and beer soup. And now that is back. And take a look at that. I mean, I'm not interested in it. I'm not a big cheese fan, but they have many of other great selections, including this nice sausage selection right here. And then they've got roasted potatoes, sauerkraut, roasted chicken, green beans, salmon, oh, a pork schnitzel. I love pork schnitzel. Meatballs, and then red wine sauce. And then right on over here, they have a carving station with warm German potato salad, red cabbage, and I think pork loin is what we got here. Is that what we got? Pork roast, right? Pork roast, yeah. Pork roast, and then what's this one? Sour brown. What is it? Sour brown. Sour brown. Ooh. It's a German uh, pot roast. Well, German pot roast. I think we're gonna be trying some of that. And then the spatzel. All right. <laughs> there it is. That's the good stuff. Do we got applesauce for it? Yes, sir, right there. Oh, the yeah, you know you need the applesauce for the pork. There you go, sir. Thank you. Oh, there it is. I love applesauce and pork together. That's how you do it. <laughs> I apologize ahead of time. Sometimes it's really hard to record in here because it's very dark. It's kind of got like a uh, fictional nighttime setting, so the camera actually might not uh, be in focus at all times, but I'll do my very best. They also have a nice kid selection. It's got peas and carrots, potato pancakes, mac and cheese, and hot dogs. And I love the potato pancakes. I don't think they had this on the menu either last time. Now I'm back at the table and my dunkle has arrived. And look at the size of this beer. It is bigger than my head. Oh my lord. I love coming here because you can't get these outside. You can only get them in here. And it is massive. So prost and we're gonna be prosting a lot once the uh, entertainment actually starts so get ready for that here is my first plate I didn't get a lot of each item I just got one of each so I got some potatoes I got some of the roasted pork with the uh, applesauce on top I have a little schnitzel some of the sausage and then also the German uh, basically pot roast and this is new this wasn't on the menu uh, when they had the family style. It was actually on the menu for the buffet and they brought it back, thankfully, because a lot of people were asking for it. Since that's something that we didn't have when we tried uh, the family style, I think we're gonna try it first here. And it looks really good, it smells good, it looks just like pot roast, but German style. Oh, look, the show's starting. <laughs> Whoa. Woo. Isn't this so nice? Perfect. That is good. Oh. Whoa. Toast. Toast. Yes. <laughs> Roast! <laughs> oh, here comes the cups.
small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. guys know this, but I'm the poker king of the Midwest. So pro. Oh no, it's time again. <laughs> I'm bruising. Okay, that is so much fun. And I love when everyone's chanting and everyone's prosting. I didn't get to eat a lot of my food because I was too busy watching the show, but now we'll get to the food. So the pot roast was very, very good. And now I want to try at least one of each item. So I have a little bit of a schnitzel, a little bit of the sausage, a little bit of the roast pork, and the meatball right there. And we're just gonna dive in. Most of these items they had actually uh, during the family style. The only thing they didn't have was this pork and the pot roast before. So now we're gonna try the roast pork with the applesauce. I put that applesauce on there. I mean, I think it just goes hand in hand. But look at it, it looks so, so good. It is so good. I love this. And I love the Franken noodle. It's basically like a German meatball. And they had these last time, and I remember I liked them a lot. So I made sure to grab one and throw it on there. Gotta go with the meatball. Now we're gonna dive into this schnitzel. And I love schnitzel. Look at that. Perfect. This goes well with uh, applesauce as well. I think I like it on the roast pork a little bit better, but had a little applesauce in the schnitzel, might as well. That is really good. Now I had to go grab some potato pancakes. These look so good, and these were not uh, available for family dining either, um, unless you ordered it for like the kids, because I don't know if they had like a kid selection when they did that. I should have asked, because now I know during any of those family style dinings, they do have kid offerings, so maybe this was one of them, and now I'm gonna try it for the first time. Potato pancakes also get applesauce. I feel like a lot of pork and potato items go good with applesauce. And wait till you guys see the desserts on the buffet. Those are probably my favorite here because there's so many. Also, I didn't get a pretzel roll. I just realized that now. What am I thinking? Anywho's, all right, here's the, here's the potato pancakes. We're gonna try it here. Oh yeah. Those are some good potato pancakes. Now, not as good as like uh, the fair potato pancakes. Cause you know, everyone's got a local fair where you know they have their potato pancake stand and those are phenomenal. These aren't as greasy. I think they might've been pre-fried and then baked, but they're still very good. A nice blend of seasoning in there. And I would get these again, but they're, they're meant for the kiddos. But I'm a big kid. Now I think it's time we head on up to check out the dessert area. I would finish up my beer and get another one, but I think one is good enough for the day. A whole liter, I just like holding it. It's so fun and I love when they actually ask you to prost and everyone just raises their glass. It's so fun, the atmosphere is amazing in here. And here is a look at the desserts. We've got Black Forest Cake, which looks amazing. I remember actually having this last time I was here. And then we've got a brownie with a little pretzel on it. Just grab a little little brownie there. Got to bring it on in, bring it on in. And then we've got Bavarian cheesecake, a blueberry crumb cake, which absolutely don't mind if I do. Gonna pass on the Bavarian cheesecake though. There we go. Put it right there. And then the best thing yet, the warm apple strudel. Thank you. Grabbing a piece from the back side here. 
We'll slide it in there. And then the vanilla sauce. Gotta add the vanilla sauce right on. Perfect. That's the way. I feel like I didn't dive a lot into the food itself, only because I was really focused on the show itself. Um, and now, I kind of want to show you all of the desserts. So I think we'll start off with the uh, warm apple strudel because that is my favorite. I already know it because I don't think they've added any additional desserts. Maybe the pretzel brownie. I don't think that was here before. But we got a little bit of each so we can try them. The apple strudel with the vanilla sauce tastes like a nice warm apple pie with vanilla ice cream. It is so good. And I remember it being my favorite last time, so we're gonna start off with it here. Starting off with my favorite first. Now we're gonna dive into the Black Forest cake. Look at this. It's got like a nice raspberry on there. So, so good. And we got an accidental little uh, vanilla cream sauce on there too. This was also really, really good. The cast members here are amazing. You guys bring so much joy and happiness. I love it. And it's such a great atmosphere. So thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> when, you are, when you are the best. Oh, yo, well, thank you. Yes, <laughs> now we are all done with dinner and it was so good. I am a little bit full and it got dark out. So I think we're just going to keep on moving along through World Showcase now. Maybe head back. I would love to ride Test Track. Hopefully it's still 20 minutes, but we'll find out when we get over there. Before we head back out into World Showcase, I wanted to stop into some of the shops here in the Germany Pavilion and show you all the cool pumpkin things that are already here. Take a look at the pumpkin spice chocolate cream. This is liquor right here. 17% but I just like the bottle on its own. Isn't that amazing? It's $38 and it's just so cool looking. Man, I might actually want to get one of these. Not right now because I don't want to carry it out with me and it's glass. If the pumpkin liqueur is in your thing, they do have another pumpkin offering that I think is really fancy and I think my mom would like it. Maybe some pumpkin spice Worthers. Isn't that fancy? $9.99. And it looks like they're all about sold out except for this last bag here. I mean, they're selling a lot of them. They even have caramel apple ones too. Holy moly, I didn't see those ones before. We're gonna get moving along. I didn't wanna grab the Worthers right now, but maybe I should. Hopefully they don't sell out. I think they might be around for a little bit. If you've ever had pumpkin spice Worthers, let me know what you think. I think it's kind of fancy. It's like really unique, but maybe something I'd send back up to my mom. I cannot believe it. 25 minute wait, almost two hours later, it's still no wait. Like, it says 25 minutes, but there's no queue in there. Don't mind if I do. Honestly, this is amazing. It is a walk-on. There is nobody in line to ride Test Track. Everybody is just walking right in. That is so crazy, isn't it? Since I'm a single rider, I just went up the single rider line, but the fact that there's nobody in the standby means there's gonna be nobody in the single rider line. This is the wait for the standby line, and like I'm gonna do single rider, so I just kind of walk right in, but it's almost the same thing. Like, they're just moving along with I am too. It's just nobody's in front of me. Entering road service. Look at this, 
And just like that, I think we are done here. We got to be able to ride test track with only a 20 minute wait, even though we didn't do it the first time around. We came back out, it was still 20 minutes. Well, it was a walk on, it wasn't even 20 minutes. So I don't know why I keep saying 20 minutes. But overall, what did you guys think of the buffet? I'm sorry I didn't go too full in the detail with the food. I figured I've already covered it a couple of times, but I just want to give you the gist of it all and the atmosphere and everything like that. So let me know in the comments if you guys would rather the family style stay or are you happy the buffets are reopening again? Anywho's, like I said, I think that's going to do it for me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.